What up, everybody? My name is Sage. It's not Sarge. No, it's not Saga or Sega. It's Sage. And no, I'm not a color or a bush or a herb or an old wise man. Um, I'm just Sage. Uh, I got a game of Headquarters Pro for you guys today. That's why I'm going to have to speed up uh, most of the boring parts and the dead parts because... It was like a 14 minute game, but I had to uh, cut it down to under 10, so that's why some of it is sped up. And I am using the LSW, or whatever, um, shows you how much I use machine guns, uh, or light machine guns. Um, I wanted to get something different up, and uh, so I decided to use an LMG, and I actually like, I mean I don't use the LMGs too often. Uh, if I do, it's gonna be the the AUG probably, which is usually most people's choices, uh, or maybe the RPD, cause I RPD is pretty cool. But I decided to go with this LSW this time, and it seems to work out pretty well. <coughs> um, I wanted to talk about something this time actually that might be helpful to you guys, um, because I just had actually had a game on this map, Headquarters Pro. Uh, I was using the same class and everything. Oh, I get lucky there, and then I get lucky that that crate doesn't drop on my head also. Um, the same situation. Headquarters on Karachi with this class, and uh, and a similar score, actually, but we ended up losing. And um, so I just want to point out to you guys how to take on Headquarters, and and it really works for most game types you just have to adjust to your play style so um for example my my play style is usually to find a high traffic area and and find out where the the enemy team is coming from and see how my teammates are moving and everything and then to basically mow the other team down uh, i try to flank as much as i can and like this game in headquarters, I try to, you'll see me kind of hover around the headquarters, um, but I, I don't really get on it, which, like the game I played before, uh, where we lost, I was, I was going for the headquarters a little bit, and then once I realized my teammates, like, they, not only were they like, not going for it, but they weren't even doing anything, like they weren't, I, I don't know, um, so it was just, y it was worth like worthless teammates and it was just useless to run towards the headquarters and try and cap it by myself while uh... i don't know while still killing a lot of people like I, ca I can't do everything you know so my recommendation is if you uh, like okay i'm not a i'm not a big uh... kd whore and like all about getting kills and stuff but i'm able to get a lot of kills usually uh, even like when I'm using not the best gun like an LMG here I'm, uh, I can usually do pretty well um, so like I said I hover around the headquarters I try and um, help my teammates out as much as I can but I, I won't usually get on the headquarters because mainly because uh, kill streaks are a huge part of this game and killing the enemy keeping the enemy team dead is a huge part of you know doing an objective because uh, having the en the enemy is dead most of the time is going to allow you to do the objective. So I try to flank and I try to just play smart and uh, and get kill streaks up. And if I really need to jump on the objective, uh, then I then I will. But in this game, it wasn't really necessary, and my team actually didn't want to cap it towards the end. But I I finally decide to just because uh, the game's kind of dragging out. Uh, it's kind of slow. Oh, look, I, I kill Achilles right here. You see that? Just hit him in the in the heel with a flash grenade, or a stun grenade. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you're, if you have the ability to, to get a lot of kills, and don't lie to yourself. Like, don't, there's people that think they're good at this game, and they're just not. And no offense to anybody, like, but, if you're not, if you think you're good, and, you're trying to get kills, but you find yourself losing a lot. Like you need to change your play style. And so, even when I'm having a bad game, 
Like if I if I'm just getting frustrated and I know I'm going to be dying anyway and I'm just making stupid moves, then I'll do the objective. But in a game like this where my team my team is doing the objective and uh, I'm finding a way to to get some kill streaks and keep the enemy dead, uh, then I'm going to do that and that's the best way to win the game basically. Um uh, when I'm in a party of six, like, I really haven't posted many games where I'm in a party. Just the, the capture the flag game, really, and one search and destroy, I think. <coughs> but, um, like, when I'm in a party, I'll usually know how my my friends play and uh, which ones are going to sit back and kill a lot and which ones are going to do the objective. And if I, I've got guys in there that will kill everything, you know, they have, like, three to four KDs, then I'll easily do the objective because that's what's going to be that's going to give us the best opportunity to win the game. Um, but if you know I have friends on my friends list that aren't quite as good of slayers uh, as myself, then I'll tell them you know to get on the objective, and uh, it usually works out. So uh, yeah, I mean this uh, I haven't really talked about this gun very much. Um, Basically, it's really good. I mean, it. you'll see a couple times where I kill in just two to three bullets. Uh, I'm using it with the grip on, which I would recommend definitely having the grip on any light machine gun. Uh, my secondaries are the Magnums because um, I put a, a, a handgun as my secondary because if I'm reloading or, uh, I don't know, just get caught around a corner or something, uh, I can whip them out quick enough and kill a guy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but like, I think right here, like I get long range kills and it seems to be pretty accurate with the grip. Uh, my perks are scavenger, stopping power, and steady aim, uh, which I, I definitely recommend using stopping power on the LMGs. It'll just make you kill a lot quicker. Uh, I mean, steady aim or Ninja really would be the best, <coughs> but uh, as your first perk, I don't really recommend uh, Scavenger. I just uh, I don't know, except for maybe with the AUG, if you're gonna spray a lot. But uh, otherwise, I would go with Sleight of Hand or maybe Bling if you if you don't like the iron sights, uh, then Bling it out with like a grip and a holographic or something like that, or a silencer. Um, but uh, I'm going to end up capping it right here. And uh, I'm not sure what the score is that I end up with. I think like a 57 and 11 or something like that. And uh, I don't know. Uh, just trying to give you guys some tips of how to play the objective. Uh, you know, hover around the objective if you, if, you get a, if you can get a lot of kills and get your kill streaks up. And uh, if you're not the best slayer, then, you know, do the objective and help your team out. It'll... It'll raise your win percentage um, and keep your KD safe, pretty much. So we destroy these guys. Um, stay tuned for some future videos, y'all. And uh, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.